province of our sovereign and the largest occupied castle in the world. A royal home and fortress encapsulating nearly 1,000 years of British history, the castle founded by William the Conqueror remains an integral working palace today. Often used by the Queen to host this probably the first and only time in their lives they will be received by the Queen in the Waterloo Chamber at Windsor Castle. The honours was largely due to the Queen's grandfather, George V, who, in 1917, established the Order of the British Empire of recipients to include those from the world of science, the arts, and each recipient will take away an impression of magnificent sights and sounds that will be long remembered and talked about. At 11 o'clock. In the 1820s, with his architect Sir Geoffrey. I want you to imagine, please, that I'm in a doorway, um, and that the doorway will be um, looking into the, the, the Waterloo Chamber, a much larger room than we're currently standing in. Um, central amongst them will be the Lord Chamberlain, the El Peel, who will be making announcements over a public address system as to who you are, why you're here, and what award you're about to receive. Um, I hope that sort of sets the general, the general scene. Specifically next to you will be a member here to hear your surname. There'll be lots of fine words about you beforehand, fine words about you afterwards, but it's your surname that's the trigger for you to move. If you miss that for whatever reason, you're going to get a sharp prod from Colin here. <laughs> OK. is set, the briefings are over, and the investiture is about to begin. It is 11 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. ...rooms in the world which offer their visitors such a wonderful display of original art as these state rooms give today's recipients and their guests. Honours and awards are not given lightly. They've been justly earned, and the investiture ceremony is the country's acknowledgement of that particular achievement. Many countries in the world today have honours and awards of one sort or another, but nowhere is the bestowing of titles and decorations performed in such splendid surroundings and with such grace, style and ceremony. Mr. Inam Ali for services to the Indian and Bangladeshi restaurant industry. Investitures are traditional, and I'm, I'm always absolutely fascinated by the people who come and uh, all the things that they, they've done, and they all have different reactions. They all uh, can tell you something different. And if you ask them that question as well, if, you know, if you know a little bit about what, what happens there, you can always it is. Some say that this is this is for the people I work. With. It's it's a it's a you know, it's it's a representation rather than, than for themselves, which is also nice. This is also meant to be a, a pat on the back. Well, I think people need pats on the back sometimes. It's a very dingy world, otherwise.
oh, it was all very impressive, wonderful experience. And uh, I loved Windsor Castle. It felt really very homely in spite of all the splendour. Marvellous, it was absolutely wonderful arriving here in Windsor Castle for the first time coming in.